Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use Concord. Concord is a study tool designed to help you search and read the Bible, Mary Baker Eddy's writings, and the Christian Science Hymnal. First begin by logging in. After you've done this, you will see your screen segmented into three panels. On the far left is what we call the Study Tools panel, where you can search and view indexes. In the center is the Read panel, where you can read the text just like it appears in the print books. And then on the right hand side of the screen is the List panel. Here you can create lists and folders to organize your ideas and inspiration. Let's first start by looking at the Study Tools panel on the left hand side of your screen. Here we have the search bar. The search feature is the most used feature in Concord. To begin a search, click in the search bar and you can then type in a word or phrase for Concord to look up in the Bible, Mary Baker Eddy's writings, or the Christian Science Hymnal. I'll type in the word peace. Once you've typed in your search word or phrase, you can tap on the magnifying glass icon to the right of the search bar, or click enter on your keyboard to launch the search. I'll click on the magnifying glass, and you can see that the search found 750 results on the word peace. Let's check out the results from the Bible. So I'll click on the Bible, and you'll see all the different book names in the Bible here that peace appears. And I'm going to click on Proverbs to see the seven results on peace in this book. And when I do that, I can see the citations. So the citations will be on the left-hand side. Here you can see Proverbs chapter 3, verse 2. And then on the right-hand side will be a preview of either the sentence or the verse that the search term appears in. To view this citation in context, you can click on anywhere in the citation. So I'll click on this citation here, and it will open in the Read panel, as you can see here. You can see the citation I clicked on is now highlighted in green. I can see the Bible verses above and below my selected citation. If you'd like, you can read this citation in context, reading above and below the citation. And if you decide you'd like to add to the citation, you can do that by using the highlighter feature. This should be on by default. And what you would do is you would go to the verse or sentence you'd like to add to this citation. So in this case, let's say I want to add the first verse. You can click and hold and highlight the verse just like you would on any other website on the internet. And then release. And your citation will now be updated to include both verses. You can see that it not only changed in the highlighted view here in the read panel, but towards the top in the citation builder, it now includes Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. If you'd like to deselect a citation, you can use the eraser icon, which is right below the highlighter icon. Clicking on this will allow you to do that same exact highlighter motion, but instead of highlighting, it will unselect a previously highlighted verse. At this point, when people find citations that they like, they usually want to do one of two things. They want to either add it to a list in their Concord account, or they want to copy it and send it to a friend. I'll first demonstrate how to add a citation to a list. And before we can add a citation to a list, we'll have to create a list. So let's look on the right-hand side of your screen in the list panel. Right now I'm in the lists manager. If you're not seeing that you're in the list manager, you can click on this view all list button towards the top left hand side of the list panel. You can see I've already created some lists and let's create another one and even if you don't have any lists created you can look for the create new list button. Once you've found that button you can click on it. Here you can name your list so I'll title mine piece. You can adjust the list options as you please and then click done. This will create your list. To add a citation to your list, you'll want to either find one in the Study Tools panel or in the Read panel, and either use the nine-dot icon here 
to the left of the citations to drag and drop them to your list, or use the three dot icon. I'll demonstrate using both ways. First, we'll look at the three dot icon. So you can click on this icon for this citation, and when you do, you'll see under Add to Recent List, you should see the list you just created. If you don't see the list you're looking for, you can click on More Lists, and it will bring up all your lists for you to choose from. But since we just created Peace, it will be at the very top, and you can just click, and it will be added to your list. Here you can see Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 and 2 is right at the very top. I can also use the nine dot icon by clicking and holding over this nine dot icon and then dragging the citation into my list and then releasing when it's in my desired location. Now let's say I'd like to copy this citation here in my list and send it to a friend. So what I can do is I can go to the three dot icon to the right of the citation I can click on this menu, and when I do, you'll see an option under Copy Selected for four different citation options. I'll copy my citation in free-flowing format, and you'll see a little pop-up that'll go away really quickly that says Copy to let you know you've copied this citation to your computer's clipboard. So I'll click, see Copied, and I can paste it wherever I'd like. The final thing I'd like to show you is how to print a list. Let's say you've been working on this list on piece for a long time and you have a number of citations and you'd like to print it out to study it further. You can go to this three horizontal line menu towards the top of the list panel and click on it and then you'll see the print option which is the third one down. Clicking on print will allow you to print out this list. We hope this video served as a short tutorial on how to use Concord. We know we didn't cover everything, so if you'd like to learn more, you can visit our Concord Help Center or email us at concord at Thanks for watching and happy studying.